Good morning to everyone. I actually got in at 1.30 this morning and uh, my, my, my clock in my body uh, got me up at 5 this morning thinking that I was late for, for breakfast. So uh, for those of you who want me to speak slowly, you have no problem this morning because I can bar barely stand up. So I will be very slow in speaking. As I sat here and worshipped with you this morning, especially this last song, there are two words that kept echoing in my mind. And those two words were, but God. But God. That's not what I'm going to speak to you about this morning, but I just needed to say that. We have been through a lot. Many times we believe that we cannot make it. And yet God has promised that he's going to present us faultless before his father's throne. And it's all because of him. Where would we be but God? The passage I would like to share with you from devotion is taken from the gospel according to Luke. Luke chapter 5. And as I thought of our purpose being here for these couple of days, I believe that God wants us to remind our hearts of what Jesus said to Peter. In verse 4 of Luke 5, he says, now when he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. Our Heavenly Father, we stand before you, we come to you, and we thank you for the person of your Son, our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And we ask even now that you take your word and you'll minister to our hearts, and you'll glorify yourself. We give you thanks. Amen. As we seek to do cross-cultural work, as we seek to reach out to the lost, as we seek to learn to abide in him, the Lord Jesus Christ, recognizing that in and of ourselves, we cannot produce any fruit. We are the branch. He is the vine. And as we abide in him, then we bear fruit, more fruit, and much fruit. This abiding will allow us to launch out into the deep. This abiding will help us to understand it's not about us, but about him. And there are three things in this passage that reminds us about launching out into the deep. Because remember now, when Jesus said to Simon to launch out into the deep, Simon answered and said, Master, we have toiled all night. And he began to educate Lord Jesus Christ on fishing. And so we are too. Many times in the stillness and the quietness of our, of our day, that the Holy Spirit ministers and whispers that, that still small voice to us. And we, we, we wrestle with it and we, we, we try to find another way to respond. Because we believe that we have done all that we can now and, and we know it. Well, if we are going to be used of God, if we are going to honor him, if we are going to know what it is to depend solely upon him as we launch out into the deep, may I remind you, like Simon, that we must first of all be willing to be challenged. We must be willing to be challenged by God. God wants to challenge us. He wants to stretch us. He wants our faith to be laid upon him. The word of God reminds us that without faith, it is impossible to please him. 
And if we are going to be used of God, if we are going to reach souls for the kingdom, if we are going to be part of the, the instrument in the hand of God, then we must know what it is and what it means to be challenged, even to the point of what we think we already know. We need to be ch- Pete, Peter was a fisherman. He, he knew where the, the, the fish were. And yet Jesus said to him, drop your nets. He knew that although you had toiled all night, that he knew right there and then that there would be a big catch. We must be willing to be challenged. Not only must we be willing to be challenged in our, in our lifestyle, in our hearts, we must also be willing to change. It makes no sense if we look in the mirror and God challenges us and the mirror of his word and we are not willing to change. We have to be willing to change. Sometimes the things that we are doing, the way we are doing it, calls for something extra, something more. And we need to remember that yesterday is like last week to God. Tomorrow is like last month to him or a year ago. He knows the future perfectly. He knows what are the means that we, use, we need to use to accomplish the job that he has for us to do. So not only must we be willing to be challenged, but we must also be willing to change. Finally, we must be willing to be channeled. Jesus said to Simon Peter, after Simon saw what had happened, and he fell down and he said, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Jesus turned around and, and said to him, Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. We need to be channeled into God's plan, into God's priority, into God's processes as we go out there and, and we do cross-cultural work, as we go out there, as we minister to people, as we go out there, as we, as we stand as, as God's ambassadors, we need to be not only challenged, we not only need to be changed, but we need to be channeled into what God wants us to do. May God help us this morning as we sit in these consultations, as the Spirit of God speaks to our hearts, as, as he moves upon our hearts, as he seeks to, to align us aright in the vine, that the glory of God will be seen in our lives because we said yes to him and we are willing to be challenged by him and that we are willing to be changed because of him so that we might be channeled in the way he wants us to go. May God bless our hearts this morning as we seek to honor him for his name's sake.